Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Nova War. And Maximus Black. And we are bringing you another game sent in by the fans over on D2DGamer.com. Mr. Maximus Black. Yep. You want to do me a huge flavor? Sure. You want to hit me up with that noise, sir? <laughs> All right. That was that was kind of like the old school, but like a little that? different. I'm bringing it back a, a little, little bit. different. You're bringing it back? I'm bringing it back. You're bringing it back? Yep. Just a little bit. All right, over here in the right-hand corner of... Shakuras? Shakuras Plateau. I wanted to say, um... Zelnaga? Yeah. I get the two mixed up all the time. Still do. Tiffany! Mm -hmm. I hope that's a girl, because that would be awesome. And over here on the left-hand side, we're looking at Spanicus. Spanicus? Great. Spanicus. You know what? I used to date a girl named Tiffany. You did? Yep. It was a... It was a... I'm not actually... You know what? I should probably not even no. talk about it. No. That's probably a bad idea. Yep. However, that even surprises me. So, yeah, we are looking at a PvP. Woo! I can only imagine what kind of game this is going to be like. Is this... So, th they kept this on the on the, uh, on the the ladder map circuit? Yep. Uh, I was kind of sour they got rid of Metalopolis. Did they? Yeah. I didn't know that. Apparently. Unless people have been lying to me, they got rid of Metalopolis. Um, mm. Which is kind of unfortunate, because it's actually kind of a... Uh, it's a pro favorite. And uh, it was, it's still I in... Got, I think they got rid of Scrap Station. They did do that. Yeah, yeah, they Thank did do that. Thank you, God. Well, that took long enough. Jeez. Nobody likes Scrap Station. Actually, now that I say that, everybody in the Twitch could be like, oh, I like Scrap Station. Scrap Station. Scrap Station was really good. It was very balanced. Yeah, no. So, no, not at all. Oh, well, there you go. There you have it. It is going to be Spanicus being the one to do the cheese. This and uh, is, it this, looks like we're going to look... Uh, this isn't even a win cheese fails. Oh, yeah, wait. I, we just did two in a row, so I'm, I'm, I'm in that mindset. Yeah, no. But you, as it turns you're out... You're totally casting out like we're going to win cheese fails right now, but we're not. Well, it kind of is well, still. Yeah, I, I don't know. You never know. He might may, maybe cannon rushing. He may be trying to get fast upgrades. We I don't have, know. I have no idea. We're gonna find out. Sure. We're gonna follow this probe until we know. So Tiffany, uh, what is he doing? Or she? Or whatever. She. Uh, <sighs> leave me alone. I love you all, but Pe leave me alone. Pe people. <laughs> People haven't clued in yet that odds are if you're online and not streaming, you're probably recording. That's okay. They want they want airtime. I don't blame that's them. A, that's all right. I don't blame them. So that's we do okay. have Bob coming out now for Tiffany. Let's go take a look at the base over here. He does have that forge and, up, and he is also getting a gateway, so we may just want to so see some fast something. upgrades, but He's no good. assimilator, no gas, nothing. No, I'm not sure what that was. He did get some. He did get the scouting, and so he knows where Tiffany is, and yep. he's seeing what's going on here, and it looks like... What? What it's, league is this? I have no idea. I thought I got it from the platinum, from the platinum spot, but I could be wrong. Um, I've never seen the uh, one gate cyber forge opening. Yeah, it's different. That's different. Yeah. But at the same time, I haven't seen the gateway forge cannon opening either. Uh, I've seen it, but down at the at the natural and where look, you can this get is it. The this is the same thing that's happening over here. Yeah, this is becoming a mind. This screw. is bizarre. <laughs> I'm so wow. confused. So putting a pile on over there in the corners, just making sure that nothing fishy is happening. Sure, why and, not? Uh, you know what? A lot of Protoss players don't do this, and it's super, super effective. Definitely. You know, just spreading your pylons around the edges of your uh, of your main. Uh, can be a life or death situation. I mean, especially Absolutely. against Terran with drops and uh, and even Zerg with mutas and and stuff like that. But these both these guys are I can assume now it's probably a lower level. It ha yeah, it's probably uh, a bronze. They're level both game. getting uh, up some defense. Uh, they're kind of turtling up a little bit. These are extremely weird builds. We're five minutes in and uh, we're just now getting the uh, second and third gateway. Uh, he does got his warp research going. He does have that forge, but he's chucking down a lot of cannons, uh, a lot of wasted minerals because neither of them. Are attacking. Uh, neither of them are scouting, and it's just one of those. It's one of those matches. Yeah, no, it, it is. It's do? one of those matches. I mean, all we can do is, is say, look, guys, if you're watching this right now and you're probably in a, in a league similar to these guys, then um, don't mimic this. No. Um, and it's not. It's not. It's not to hound on these guys. They probably th these two just might not know builds. And believe it or not, people exist that play StarCraft, that don't memorize build orders, and don't know if they go over here and I'm see gonna something be, I'm happening. I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't uh, got down build orders until last month. I still don't. I, I, was, I know I know my opening, and then I just kind of do whatever based on what I see, and there's no yeah. real timing to it. Yeah. There's nothing. I just, I just play, no, for which is sure. probably and what's I, happening here. You yeah, know? no, and there's nothing wrong with that. With no. having fun with the game, it's totally fine. Uh, but if you ever want to get serious, or if you ever want to try to move up in leagues... You have to start to learn some sort of... of uh, I don't know how I got into Diamond uh, with really using bare minimal hotkeys and really not knowing any uh, uh, 
build orders down to the down to the science. Now that I'm starting to do that and I'm using hotkeys, I can obviously see a big difference in my game. Even though it's sometimes only 10 seconds, 15 seconds, those are the huge when it comes to making that jump between platinum and diamond or diamond and master and even in the bronze silver league you know chucking down that second assimilator when not necessary and and, sa and fully saturating it uh and or getting out two cannons if you eliminate those when you don't need to do that that can actually put you up an entire new league just because as a wise asian man once told me the best defense is good offense absolutely um and you know what like jeff was saying it, like it, it, not not literally, but what do you you know? Starcraft Two is a game of seconds. Yep. And really, what separates uh, the leagues is it's your like, timing it's and like how racing. fast you it's are. Like, it's it's a race. It's a race. It's there just is like a race. It, it is a race to who? It's it's a advanced rock paper scissors slash chess match. Yep. Who can get the best units faster, and the units that counter whatever the other guy has, and so. Uh, it really is a game of seconds, and the difference between a platinum level player and a diamond level player is can really be 15, oh, 20, 30 seconds. Trust me, I know that. And yeah. that's it. And so when you get those, that's when you have to start le learning your build orders, and this game has been played enough that people have found out the most efficient ways of getting around to those build orders. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you'll find new ones coming out and stuff that allow you to do different things on different maps, but yeah. in general there are those core, core builds um, that everybody goes, you know, with Zerg, it's that 14 pool, 14... Gas, sometimes it's... Seven Road it's, Rush, you know, seven and road Protoss, rush, Four Gate, expanding. Three Gate Robo. Yeah. Those are things that you need, and we're not saying that you have to know build orders, because no. being being a unpredictable player is a good thing. Having your own creative style is always great, and Definitely. it actually gives you an edge. But in order to, to do well on the ladder, you have to know uh, basic good build orders to counter other things, because if you don't have that you're really putting yourself behind. It can work for only so long, and you'll hit a roadblock. Yeah, you can macro and play kind of haphazardly. You can macro your way to probably platinum. Mm -hmm. uh, and then after that, you actually really have to start tightening up your timings and stuff like that. And there are tons of places where you can go to learn these things um, and people to watch. You know, obviously the one that we quote a lot is Day9 because he actually has a series dedicated yeah. uh, to learning that kind of stuff. Um, so it's out there, and, and take advantage of it for sure. Uh, but you know what? Some people don't even care about that. And they just want to play the game. No, that's cool, and that's and why that's we're here. Fun. That's we're going to catch your guys' games. We might poke a little bit of fun. But, but that's, that's hey. what is... Some people, believe it or not, play games to, have, to fun. have fun. That exists. In the year 2011, that still exists. Yep. Believe it or not. Like this not video if gamers, you like having fun. Not all gamers are jaded yet. It hasn't, it hasn't spread <laughs> absolutely everywhere. Uh, <laughs> so we're, this is... You can really tell this is a lower level because you can actually see hints... Of uh, uh, of build orders, you know, it was almost a four gate, but not really, and then they were indecisive about when to get the robo. Uh, but they're expanding and getting some more gateways now as well. Yeah. You can see hints of things where they've seen, you know, maybe platinum or diamond level players doing some things, and so they have some of this stuff in the back of their minds. They just don't know the actual roots to get their. Uh, and you know what? Uh, believe it or rate. not, there's a lot of players out there that don't watch. Pardon me, that don't watch casters and don't watch pro games. Oh, they actually them, just play StarCraft. Absolutely. And they actually don't know that build orders exist. They just play just because. Hun doesn't know any build orders. Yeah. He just does it. He plays naturally. He, he watches what happens in games. And then he just goes from there. Yeah. Uh, and if you don't know who that is, Tuna Jr., I did it, like that was one of the solo casts. He just plays the game uh, enough, watches what his opponents does and do in every game that he's in, and kind of pieces together what he thinks is going on, and you go from there, and that can work. Do you think you can times two this? This is... I don't think I can. There you go. Uh, the reason why, I mean, I know we just talked about a lot of stuff that isn't in this game specifically. That's because right now it's a turtle match. There's really not a whole lot happening. And, uh, you know, maybe you guys can learn a couple of things if you're the lower level players. Uh, both players right now... Uh, I blue was really really bad on the macro there for a bit. We take a look at the units tab We do have 40 probes to 29 so Tiffany's doing a pretty damn good job at building probes definitely has uh, A good amount there for two bases still could use uh, some more probes uh, We do have a huge amount of warp gates going up uh, for Tiffany and uh, what do we have? Level, what, one upgrades now for blue? I think we're looking at level one, and I think we might actually have uh, level one over here. Just yep. not one shields as just not well, one shields or yet. one armor. Yep. Um, but uh, that's okay. Like I said, you know, there's hints, uh, little little hints here and there of uh, these two players knowing that, you know, rough a rough idea of what they want to do. Uh, and they're doing it, and they have a rough idea of what they should be doing. 
But the, uh, the big thing here, we did see some of it, was there's just not a lot of scouting going on, which is, you know, a big thing that a lot of people don't do uh, at lower levels. We did see an observers, a couple of observers flying around. Um, but, you know, it's just, it's just those things that you don't see a lot of uh, in, the, uh, in the lower levels that they uh, need to practice. So we do have a third uh, going down, a ninja expand for a, Tiffany. A super ninja expand. And if we here. go back over here in the middle, it looks like we are going to see some sort of push. We do have a war prism over there as well, warping in uh, units. Well, not really warping it, but it's just, just sitting, there. sitting there. He does not want to go up there. We do have a giraffe wood on the field for Tiffany. And uh, that could be a game changer right there in and itself. Oh, a second giraffe out there. The zoo is open, and we're going to see them go buck wild on somebody's candy ass. They'd be breaking it out. And you know what else we're seeing? Dark, Dark Shrine. Shrine. Probably going down here, I suspect. Yeah, yep. we do see it. We, I saw the Twilight Council going down. So we're, we're climbing the tech tree all over the place. Yeah. We're going to see a mix of everything. We're going to have giraffes and stalkers and zealots and... And dark temps and everything else happening right now. We have a Stargate going down over here. Four Spanicus as well. Three, Ooh, giraffes, three giraffes as well. And a bunch of uh, of stalkers as well. You know, if this comes out in the middle of the map, it'll be kind of fun to watch. This is gonna be this gonna be one of those typical I turtle, you turtle. We have a fight. Whoever wins the fight wins the game. Kind of like how we used to play Brood War. Yep. Attack, go. Attack, go. And Sometimes just, not even. Move, no. go. Move, go. And oh, then headbutt. Crap. And then go, oh, crap. And then lose the game. So we have Void Rays coming. Wow. Speed lots on the way as well. More Stalkers being warped in. Uh, this is going to be, I mean, the food count. Look at the food count difference right now. One Tiffany six, is, is... Is that 107 and it's 20 minutes in the game? That's not That's not so hot. No, no. no but no. I mean, neither is 168, really. I mean, the, but these players are... Uh, obviously not. We do have we do have blink beam research now yeah. for span as well. So uh, we're gonna see some epic bronze blink micro. Should be uh, all kinds of Should fun. Should be pretty. We uh, have zealot amazing. charge gone down for uh, Tiffany, and we even got a, a nice little uh, a phoenix out there on the field as well. Just because saying, why hey, not? Hey, want to have one of everything? Because phoenix. Mm -hmm. I love phoenix though. I, I'm not a big fan of them. I don't like. I, I mean, personally, I'm terrible at using them. But when I watch somebody micro them well, yeah, it is freaking beautiful. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I, I just I don't know. It's just a unit I can never really get. Get into. They're, it's kind of like a warp prism for Protoss. Um, they don't. They're used a lot, but when they're used properly by people, they can do a lot of damage. Here we go. He's coming up in here to battle. Blinks right in. That was a terrible decision. Wow. That was. That wasn't even cool. Even for two times speed, that that battle ended really quickly. Yeah. And so he's back here, and he's just gonna fight it out with a couple of these zealots. This one phoenix. Oh, so much death. That one Phoenix is just giving her, taking it down. Oh, it down it goes. Come on, take so all your units out there. Let's go. Here we go. Epic battle right now. It looks like these <laughs> guys are going to go down. Don't sound so, don't sound so excited. Uh, that was, that was really. Ooh, ah, yes, yes, yes. Gotta yes, love those, race. gotta love those cold casts. Absolutely. We do it for you guys. We do it for you guys. What, you know, other, what other StarCraft channel out there is willing to cast game like this? I, I don't think that exists. Good answer. Don't think that exists. But you know what? I, I, I do like having these games cast on the channel because we do have a lot of people who are in the lower level. Uh, like the bronze, silver. And so it's good for them to see uh, oh. players of similar level to them. Uh, decent attempt at Blink. Kind of only had half your units in there, but you That's know what? Right. Good golden. idea. Had the idea. Had the high ground vision with Colossus. Yep. That was good. Blinked in there with Stalkers. And this is going to be GG right now. There is no way... In hell. No. He's coming back out of this. No. That's just a whole lot of stalker, a whole lot of death. I, That's it. That's all I got for this cast. Is, I, I think, I've got nothing I else. think we've stretched the trying to not say dead air as long I as possible I have, in this I have, game. I haven't, I haven't seen you in a while. How's, how, how have you been? I've been I've been doing good. You've been doing good? Went to Montreal, had a batch up. Wow, GG. Oh, man. Just Come don't on, even. Dude, just I was, ignore that. Continue telling me about Montreal. It's good? Yeah, so I was in Montreal mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. for a bachelor party. Sure. And uh, went to a strip club. How was that? Uh, it was good. And then, and then a stripper came out, and her name was uh, Spanicus, and mm -hmm. she was basically the worst player at StarCraft ever. Sounds pretty accurate. 